In this video, we present the CyanVision unboxing and installation. We have a separate video on the system configuration and software overview. In the box we find the CyanVision analyzer, a power supply with power cord, the waste bottle, four thermal printing paper rolls plus one that is already installed, the user manual and application sheets, and this important notice with the QR code to register your device and find more special insights on our website. Lift the cover to find the hydraulic system with the flow cell and the convenient cartridge pump system. A distinguishing feature is the freedom to connect any size of screen, even a touch screen, just ensure it is full HD and has an HDMI connection. If you use the touch screen, you need to connect the HDMI connection and also the USB cable. To facilitate data entry and navigation in the software, you can connect an external keyboard and the mouse using the USB sockets. The Ethernet socket allows to connect the analyzer to the local network. The on-off switch is located on the side panel with an additional USB port and the power inlet. Let's start with a suitable location. Choose a stable, horizontal and vibration-free surface. Ensure that you have at least 10 cm of open space around the device for air circulation. The surroundings should be dust-free and with a temperature between 18 and 30 degrees. Avoid direct sunlight and keep the device out of airflow. Ensure at least 3 meters from electromagnetic radiation sources like radio receivers or centrifuges. Keep the humidity between 30 and 70%. An unsuited location can have a negative effect on the analyzer performance. Ensure the device is turned off before connecting the peripherals. If you connect the peripherals when the device is on, you will have to restart. Connect the power supply. Ensure that the power outlet you use is grounded and do not use power extension cables to avoid unstable current or accidental disconnection. The waste is collected in a separate container, which is delivered with the instrument. To install the waste bottle, first remove the external and then the internal cap of the waste bottle. Keep this internal cap, it can be used when cleaning the waste bottle. Screw the external cap back on and slide the waste tube through the hole in the external cap of the waste bottle. Insert the tube deep enough to avoid it from slipping out during measurements. Disposal of the waste must be done in compliance with the local regulations. Switch on the analyzer, select the username LabHead and insert the password Cypress1 to log in. Mind the capital. A service pop-up will appear this is a default message for all new analyzers. Now you must perform a washing, a pump calibration and an auto zero. At this point of time, a service engineer can also reset all the timers. Now you will use the hydraulic system for the first time. Watch out for possible leaks. You must perform three steps. Washing of the hydraulic system, the pump calibration to verify the aspiration, and auto zero the optical system. We have a dedicated video for all three steps. Now you are ready to go. If you like, you can customize and personalize the system to your needs. We made a special video on that.